Canada's billion dollar man. I really have to keep pinching myself. Fashion magnet Peter Nygaard. Why even Oprah is jealous? Nygaard, Canada's number one women's fashion house, will team up with American retail giant Dillard's this fall. And founder Peter Nygaard tells our Kate Stutzman he's still a small town boy, although by now he could own a small town. I stay pretty rude, pretty grounded. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Nygaard. 35 years ago, Peter Nygaard took a job at a clothing company that he would eventually own. It never has been a sort of a status issue for me, so I just noticed my toys are getting bigger. I'm, you know, just like Nygaard, <laughs> you know, my airplanes are getting bigger. Toys and planes are one thing, but Peter also owns his own private 22-bedroom resort in the Bahamas. Most people have said it's the most unusual, most spectacular place that they've ever seen in their life. Decadent enough to impress even Oprah. Her key interesting comment was that after seeing it, she says, I reckon I'm not living high enough. <laughs> <laughs> One of Canada's richest men, Peter has surrounded himself with stars and glamour. But it's family and small town values he cherishes most. And what about with your kids? They're involved with your company and... Would you say they're, they're fairly grounded? They've had to learn, just like I had to learn, to earn it. And, you know, mentally, that's what they do. But even being the head of a company that produces 400,000 garments a week isn't how Peter measures success. You know, I, if you just say, what is the ultimate price for this success? The ultimate price that you can get to your mom anything that she wants and take care of her. That's a luxury. That's really the ultimate price. And on Monday, our Cheryl Hickey will be in the Bahamas to tour Peter's luxurious resort in our Pirates of the Caribbean special. Coming up, a tour of the Nygaard magnificent resort from his very own sexy son. Flattery will get you everywhere, young lady. Next, the tour of the Nygaard estate coming up after the break. You're going to take us, aren't you? I'm going to take you. This is going to be awesome. Fashion magnate Peter Nygaard has built an empire with his eye for style. Now, when it comes to his home here in the Bahamas, even Oprah's jealous. Hey, Cheryl, I'm here in Winnipeg. I know you're there at Nygaard Key. Here's the keys. Enjoy. Thanks, Dad. Hey, I'll take Cheryl around. All right, we're going to go see the house, right? Yeah, let's check it out. All right. Nygaard Key is the tropical resort of Canadian fashion mogul Peter Nygaard. For his son, Kai, it's paradise. Celebs like Michael Jackson, Oprah, and even President Bush Sr. have stopped by. So you have the pool here. You've got our little lounging hangout area right here. Mm -hmm. Rainforest right there with our giant falcon. Wow. And then this massive tower here we do a lot of events on. You have to come up here with me. Come All on. All right, let's go. All right. Now you know that I kind of have a height thing? It's you. in. Insane. Insane. And what about inside? This is the Grand Hall. This is one of the biggest and best spots in the whole house. And above you, you have over 100,000 pounds of glass. The fans. The fans are really cool. Wow. And this is our dining room. <laughs> and who lights the candles? Gremlins. Right. <laughs> Good answer. There's something that I always want to do when Dad's not home. Uh-huh. Let's jump on this thing. Okay, go. Come on. Run around. And then, so this is <laughs> the conversation room? Yeah, this is where we hang out and have conversations, you know? Gotta have a spot for it. Perfect. Civilized. What house would be complete without, you know, a disco? I know, right? Check it out. All over, look at the ceilings, look at all the designs. We actually have a window into the pool. So you can see all this stuff going on and What's that all about? What's what? That's... Oh, you can actually see the people... That's... Wait a second. That's my producer. That's kind of weird. Well, look at you showing off. Oh, this come is pretty on. nice. Check wow. it out. This is Seascape. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So this is called driftwood. And the reason it's called driftwood is because every single piece of furniture, or even on the floor in this room, is actual driftwood that washed up shore on our property. This is actually a root ball that came up on shore after a hurricane. I'm officially impressed. You know, the driftwood bed, the bird. It's pretty amazing. You still haven't seen the De Niro suite. 
Oh, yes. Okay, well, let's go do that. Let's check it out. Yes, Robert stayed here. This is Lagoon, or the Robert De Niro suite. Oh, this is where Bob stayed. So how does one of the seven heirs to a billion-dollar industry stay so grounded? You seem like a really normal guy. I've never actually been given anything in that sense. We've always had to work for it. Here you have it, E.T. Canada. I hope you enjoyed my place. Oh. The boat's moving. <laughs> The sun sets here in the Bahamas. We've got to go. So thanks for watching Entertainment Tonight Canada, everybody. And we also want to thank the islands of Bahamas. We have had such a fantastic time. Now we leave you now with Billy Talent. And their new album, by the way, is coming out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go for a walk.